Hello, I'm Devin McCarthy, CEA Vice President of Public Affairs and U.S. Policy. So Thursday marked the anniversary of the start of the 1998 ice storm, which ran from January 4th to January 10th. I was living in Ottawa at that time, and I remember it well. You could skate around town, the ice was so thick. But the storm was no joke. It caused over $5 billion worth of damage and left 4 million people without power at its peak. Three weeks after the storm, there were still thousands of people in the dark. When the power goes out, society grinds to a halt. Offices close down, equipment doesn't function, and businesses can't transact. Traffic snarls and critical infrastructure, such as hospitals and airports, limp along using their backup generators. But as life gets desperate, we, as a people, step up. We're seeing that this week across the eastern seaboard of the United States and throughout our Atlantic provinces. Neighbors helping neighbors, towns banding together in common cause, and electricity companies rapidly deploying resources to where they're needed most, sometimes even beyond the borders of their own service territories, a practice known in the industry as mutual assistance. We still have a few months of severe weather ahead. Stay safe, stay warm, and help your neighbors. Check the website of your electricity service provider for tips on how to prepare for power outages. Make an emergency plan. Keep and maintain an emergency kit. And remember, when severe weather hits, we're all in it together.